Fifth Class Lesson 2 Reading My Sweet Memories It is summer. Santhosh's vacation has started. His family is going to Ramapuram, his grandparents' village. He has the habit of writing a diary. Let's know his experiences in his own words. April 24th I am very eager to visit my grandparents. Village. I will meet my grandparents and cousins. I have packed my clothes and toys. We are going to travel by a bus. I am so excited. April 25th Our journey started today. Luckily, I got a seat near the window. The weather was pleasant in the morning. There were numerous trees with yellow flowers on either side of the road. There were many white cranes in the lush green paddy fields. The scarecrows were arranged to scare away the birds in the fields. There was less traffic. The village was peaceful with fresh air. I got off the bus and ran to meet my grandparents. They were delighted to see me. The house was surrounded by many big trees. There were jackfruit, mango, neem, banana, pomegranate, and coconut trees. The mango tree was heavily laden with fruit. I tasted the first mango of the season. It was so tasty and juicy. April 26th. I woke up early today. I went out for a walk in the morning. The cool breeze was pleasant. The coconut palms were swaying lazily. My grandfather was busy with some farmers in the fields. Some of them were cutting the crops and some of April 26 them were threshing the paddy. The air was filled with the sweet sound of birds all over singing in their sweet voices. The cuckoo's song was perhaps the most enchanting. By the time I reached home, delicious breakfast was ready. I freshened up and had the tastiest breakfast. Meanwhile a girl, Pallavi, our neighbor, came to our house and we played for a while. Pallavi showed me how to play with a tire and a stick. We happily ran down the lanes balancing the tire with a small stick. She was very eager to show me the village. Meanwhile a girl, Pallavi, our neighbor, came to our house and we played for a while. Pallavi showed me how to play with a tire and a stick. We happily ran down the lanes balancing the tire with a small stick. She was very eager to show me the village. We stopped to talk to Pallavi's friends Ammon, Peter and Esruthai. Ammon was helping his father in milking their cows. Peter and Esruthai were sitting with their grandmother breaking ground nut pods and piling them neatly. Later they would take the nuts to the village market to sell them. I helped them for some time. April 27th. Today my mother and my aunt took me to the canal for a bath. There were many children splashing around in the canal. Some boys were climbing to the top of the tall tamarind tree. Girls were playing hide and seek near the big banyan tree. I played for some time in the cool water but I could not swim. So, I sat on a big smooth rock and watched my friends swimming like fish. They talked and laughed a lot as they washed their clothes and dried their wet hair in the sun. The canal was so clean that I could see the pebbles and colorful fish swimming by. I love the scenery. April 28th we returned home in the city. The trip to our grandparents' house was very enjoyable. Those three days flew away so fast. I realized that during my stay, I neither watched television nor played video, mobile games. I am eagerly looking forward to my next visit.